But you know one of the worst things about this racism, what it did? It made black people hate themselves. Because in this society, everything black was wrong. The very epitome of ugliness was black. The butt of jokes. If you read the autobiography of Malcolm X, Malcolm said when he was a young boy going to a white school, he said they called him nigger so much he thought his name was nigger. Let's try, read it. Read the autobiography of Malcolm X. You know the story. Malcolm was one of the smartest, one of the brightest in his schools. President of his class. And he had the audacity to tell his white teacher he wanted to be a lawyer. He said, Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm. Be realistic, Malcolm. You can't be no lawyer as no nigger. And Malcolm said he thought it, he, he, he thought it meant well. So Malcolm dropped out of school. You know the rest. But that's not bad enough. But what's bad enough is that you strip a person of everything. Did you know, according to some, to some uh, scholars and historians, that as much as one-third or more of those uh, African slaves were Muslims? Did you know that this country didn't allow the Africans to practice their religion? Did you know that it was against the law to teach a slave how to read? How many heard of Reverend Al Sharpton? Raise your hand. Reverend Al Sharpton, he found out last year where he got that name Sharpton from. His father, Coleman Sharp, uh, his grandfather, Coleman Sharpton Jr., his great grandfather, Coleman Sharpton Sr., was a slave. Where did he get the name Sharpton from? Alexander Sharpton. Who is Alexander Sharpton? The slave master. Allah says in the Quran, Uduhum li abaihim, call them by their father's name. And you see in Islam, when a man marries a woman, that woman don't take on the name of her husband. That's, that's a Western style. That's a Western uh, uh, um, thing. Call them by their father's name. When Aisha married Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, she never became Aisha Abdullah. She became Aisha Zawjan Nabi. Aisha, the wife of the prophet, but bent Abu Bakr, bent Abi Bakr. She's the daughter of Abu Bakr. She always was the daughter of Abu Bakr, and Allah says, call them by their father's name. But in this society, when you put your name on something, name means ownership. So in this society, in Western society, in the early days, when a man married a woman, she belonged to him. So therefore, she, he took her name and put uh, his name on it. This is why Muslims like me, myself, many of us, we, we take different names. We take on the name Siraj. I wasn't born with the name Siraj Wahaj. Al-Hajj Malik Shabazz, Malcolm wasn't born with uh, um, Al-Hajj Malik Shabazz. He was Malcolm Little. So many African Americans who become Muslims, they change their name because the slave master took their original names from them and gave them different names. But that's not bad enough. But what's worse than that? When you psychologically make people hate themselves. So black people hated themselves. Why? Because everything in this society, everything that was wrong was black. So what did black people do? Do you know that in the 50s and in the 60s, black people would get cream? And they would get cream to put on their faces to make their faces lighter. You saw the movie Malcolm X. You saw the movie Malcolm X, and in the movie Malcolm X, you saw how Malcolm had a conk. What's a conk? Accident. A conk is a process. It's a, you know, you burn your hair. Malcolm talked about it in his book. You burn your hair. Black people have uh, natural, natural woolly hair. You should have seen me when I first uh, joined the Nation of Islam. In the Nation of Islam, 
clean cut. Yeah. I had a afro this big. My afro was so big you could land a helicopter on it. That's how big my afro was. What happened? Because in the 60s was a cultural revolution. And so James Brown, you heard of James Brown? He sang a song, I'm black and I'm proud. This means nothing to you. But for a black person to say that in the 60s, I'm black and I'm proud, so the nation of Islam, even though they had some racism in it, but it taught black people how to love themselves, to respect themselves, to love themselves rather than hate themselves. So black people, we hated ourselves. Why? Because of what was put on by the slave master. So black people felt inferior to white people. That's the way it was. Now, I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished my introduction. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. So you thought I was joking when I said four hours. When it's 12 midnight and you're still here, you say, oh, he was serious. Now you're wondering. I got you thinking. 